Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be taking you through a lower body workout that you can do in 15 minutes with no equipment. So this is going to be a fun one. We're going to start off with some side to side leg swings. The purpose of this is to warm up our hip joint and just loosen up the adductor abductor muscles. We're going to be doing around 10 to 20 leg swings per leg just to get things nice and warmed up. It's going to lubricate the hip capsule there, prevent it from being a little bit tighter than it could be. Now you can put your arms out to create a bit of a balance here as this exercise or this warm up stretch can create a little bit of an imbalance, but really focusing on that foot tripod, which I'm going to explain now before we get into the workout. So the foot tripod is the big toe, little toe and heel. You can be grabbing into the floor and twisting your knees outward to create a nice stability here. So once we're done with our leg swings, we're going to start with some front to back leg swings. Now this is going to be the hamstrings, calves and quads all stretched out. And we're going to go again for about 10 to 20 per leg. You can do more or less depending on how your body's feeling this given day or if you've already done a little bit of a warm up yourself. So this is actually going to burn some calories as well because we're, you know, moving our body that requires calories to do that. So this is an active warm up. One of my favorite ways to get warmed up. Nice big swings here. Woo. And you can just do a couple quick hip openers here just to get things moving and grooving. And the first exercise we're going to start off with, very standard one, it's going to be the squat. And what we're going to be doing is just a bodyweight squat. You can have your hands out or wherever feels most comfortable. What we're going to be focusing on is keeping a nice slow tempo on the way down. Four seconds to five seconds and then one to two seconds on the way up. We're going to go for 12 reps. There's two. Three, four, five, nice. And we're halfway there, got six down, doing great. Seven, eight, nine, big breath. 10, two more, 11, we're going to be breathing and bracing that core, and there's 12, awesome, now we're just going to do a little bit of an active, war not warm up, but inter-workout set, just to keep the hips feeling good before we proceed into our next exercise, which is going to be the lunge, so just take a few seconds here, keep things nice and fluid, and then we'll get into our next exercise. Ooh, you can do the leg swings too if you'd like. And then we're going to go into stationary lunges. So with a stationary lunge, we're going to have our feet planted in position here. Lower ourselves down nice and slow. Just like that. We're trying to create a 90 degree angle in the knee there. Oh, losing my balance. Carpet is not the best thing to be working out on. Just want to let that thought out. I'm going to go for eight per leg. Here's six, seven, last one, eight. Solid. Switch legs now. This is going to also stretch out the hip flexors a little bit further. So it's a nice stretch. One, two. You can also raise the arm of whatever leg you have back to create a little bit of balance. There's four, nice. Five, good. Six, remember that foot tripod. Seven, one more. Eight, good. Whew. You can do some leg swings just to keep things nice and fluid. We don't want to be hopping too quickly into the next exercise. It's something I often do, but Sometimes it's just nice to keep things loose while you're working out. So just a couple quick movements like that, keeping everything nice and warm. Now, next we're gonna be doing somewhat of a, it's a similar to a Romanian deadlift, but it's called the waiter's bow. So we're just gonna slide our hands down, keep our back very straight, weight on the heels, big toe and little toe, and sliding butt back, keeping the back nice and straight. 
You want your knees to come away from the midline of your body instead of caving inwards. And you can also go ahead, if you want a bit of an advanced challenge, and do single leg ones. Or you can just do this one with two legs on the ground at a time. The single leg one is much, much more challenging. But as with life, there's always some challenges. This is also a really good stretch to get the hamstrings all loosened up too. So if you got tight hamstrings, this is your stretch. And just like that. Whew. For a couple more here. Touch the toes. And last one. Perfect. And we'll just get, keep warm. We're gonna get into some bridges next. So prepare yourself for that. Feet planted on the ground. Feet planted on the ground. Hopefully my mic is not gonna get messed up this time. Hips up, squeeze, <laughs> drive the knees out, back down. Really engaging with the glutes. There's two. Three, we're gonna go for 20. Four. And five. Here's six. Squeeze real good. Seven. Eight. Nine. And there's 10, so we're halfway there, doing great. 11, nice and slow, really squeeze the glutes. 12, 13, 14, oh yeah, really feeling the burn now. 15, five more. Really emphasize that leg drive, getting the glutes working as they should. 16, 17, just like that. 18, 19, one more to go. 20, booyah, whew. By this point, glutes should be on fire. So, now we're just gonna do a couple quick hip circles here, just keeping things nice and warmed up. That last one was a sweaty one, it got a little heated up. So, next exercise that we're gonna be doing is going back into our squats. Now this time, it's gonna be focusing, again, slow on the way down. We wanna think one, two, three, four on the way up. Slow concentric squats. These are a little bit more challenging, so we're only gonna do 10 reps, four seconds down. Keeping that core tight, one, two, three, four on the way back up. Really squeezing the glutes. Keeping that core tight. Spine neutral as you can. Making sure your knees are not coming inwards or staying out. Nice, just like that. We got five more. This forces your body to work from different positions that you might not be as strong in. Woo! Three more. Just like that. We're almost there. Booyah. Last one. Perfect. Whew. That's how it's done. So we're just gonna, again, even the legs nice and limber, warm, and just stretching about. Whew. Coming quite the circuit. And just keep on focusing on keeping those hips nice and warm. Before we get into our next exercise, you might want a little bit more of a break in between these, so I'm just gonna do some hip warm up exercises. Keep things nice and limber. If you feel any clicking in the hips, you might have something blocking the way there. Foam rolling, go and get a massage 
from a massage therapist. Things like that can help out. Whoo! The next exercise we're gonna be doing is the forward stepping lunge, which is a bit challenging. So if you have any difficulties doing it, you can go ahead and do the stationary lunge that we did earlier. But the forward stepping lunge difference from that is we're gonna be starting with our feet here, taking the step forwards, going down, coming back. We're gonna be doing 12 total, six per leg. There's one. Two, good, really strong. Push back on the way back. Three, should keep that core neutral. Four, five, solid. There's six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, beautiful, 12. There it is for forward step and lunge. One of the most challenging exercises for some people, but we're gonna be, you know, sticking to our guns, making sure it's possible. We're gonna do a few more hip exercises here. As a little bit of segue into our next exercise. Woo! Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> it's a little bit warm, very humid in Canada. The Humidex is like 81% today. So that's the reason I'm sweating. There's so much water in the air right now, it's almost difficult to breathe. And today is one of the cooler days that we've been having, so that's something. <laughs> so the next exercise we're gonna be doing is going into those waders bows again. And if you want, again, you can challenge yourself, do the single leg version. So it's just simply coming down as far as you can. If you can touch your toes, that's good. And the single leg version, make sure you're really focusing on keeping that spine as straight as possible. It helps you have something like a couch to hold on to, like I just did there. But I'm alternating legs. When you're doing this single leg, you wanna focus on doing just one leg at a time and resetting, because you're gonna have your footing done right, so you don't wanna you know, keep switching your footing around. Makes it a little bit more challenging. Whew. Definitely a difficult exercise though. Booyah. And we're gonna go for about 20 reps, 15, 20. Depending on if you're doing single leg or doing both legs at a time, it can change the difficulty of this exercise greatly. Oh, just like that. Watch the toes. Try to keep the spine as straight as possible. When we don't have weight on it, it is a little bit okay to let the spine around more than you would, since there's no load actually on the spine, axially. So yeah, we'll be doing those for about 15, 20 reps, and then once done, we're just gonna do a little bit of a warm up as we get into one of our final exercises. So we're just gonna again go through and stretch out the hips. Whew. These leg swings are really nice. One of my favorite things to do on a leg day is <laughs> get into a squat rack and give them a power swing because you got that support there to be able to do that. I have notoriously tight hamstrings, so anytime I'm able to loosen them up, it's always a good feeling. After this, I'm gonna be going for a little bit of a walk Nice way to cool down from a workout, get some more extra calorie burn. And it's good for mental health too, going out for walks, allowing your thoughts to clear themselves and all that jazz. So we're gonna go into the final exercise, which is gonna be the reverse lunge. Now this is similar to our first, or our uh, forward stepping lunge, but the difference here being we're stepping backwards. So this is gonna put more of a load onto the glutes and hamstrings. And again, we're gonna go for 12 reps. There's two. I'm alternating legs, but you can do six per leg if you'd like. With this exercise, you're not really losing much out. Unlike the last exercise, if you need to switch legs, or if you wanna switch legs to keep it fun and engaging, that's very all right. There's six, nice and slow too, seven. 
eight, nine, whoo, 10, two more, 11, whoa, 12. And there you did it. 15 minute lower body workout. Whew, I am certainly cooking up a sweat here. But uh, yeah, make sure you get a nice cool down in. I'm gonna do a few more leg swings and go for my walk. I encourage you to do something similar, you know? Get out, enjoy nature, get some fresh air, clear those thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. If you got any recommendations for any workouts you'd like to see, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.